Hello and welcome to the discussion of philosophy. Atomism is an age-old question for the humankind, for the human being. And the thing is that people try to understand that actually what is the basic elements of everything. We have seen in ancient Greek history that people discussed about the uh, basic element in Thales, in Anaximander, and many other philosophers discussed about this unique element. But here, I'd like to say that modern day theory and also I will combine with ancient Greek philosophy and also Indian philosophy with that. Now atomism, it is a concept that proposes that physical world is composed of fundamental indivisible components known as atoms. It's a basic thing and the thing is the next is we have seen that this topic, this atomism is being discussed in every field of studies, especially philosophy of space, metaphysics and also in science. Now, what is the basic thing? Atom in atomism, they discuss about two major point, points that they are atom and void. How they are related, that is the most debatable issue and many philosophical schools, they have discussed about these two things indifferently. Atomism. In atomism, if you see the theory, you can find various type of the types of theory. One is philosophical atomism that is not scientific, that is completely conceptualization and that's a concept of atom. Scientific atomic theory that can be practiced in lab and nowadays it is, in, uh, it is actually epistemology of atom. Now, these two should not, not be confused. As I have told you before, these are completely different. Now, philosophical atomism. Philosophical atoms come in an infinite variety of shapes and sizes. They believe that atoms are indestructible, indivisible and immutable. John Dalton, though he was a scientist, but he, but he believed in the philosophical outlook of atomism. So when he came into research, he believed that atom world will be the most suitable word for his study. So he used the name atom long used by atomist philosophy and we can see that in, uh, in Gre uh, ancient Greek world the philosophers they use this word atom. Now philosophical atomism if you see ancient Greek philosophy and also in ancient India they have discussed about this atomic theory. Atomism and reductionism which is very important these are the different theory. Philosophical atomism is reductionism According to philosophical atomism, they believe whatever elements you have seen, ultimately it will be reduced to two major points that is atom and void, except nothing is there. Maybe so many elements are there, but ultimately their basic constituent or element is atom and void. Whereas substance theory, they, stated some, they state something else. They believe that this universe is actually made up of four elements earth water air and fire so whatever you whatever things you are watching in this universe if you break them into tiniest part you can find these four elements quality everywhere so this is a basic thing now, philosophical atomism i'd like to say reductionism that's everything is composed of atoms and void nothing they compose really exist only things that really exist are atoms recocheting of each other in void. I have told you this only they reduce to atom and void, only this thing. And Greek atomism, if you see uh, ancient Greek world, you have uh, seen that uh, why it discussed about atom and uh, atom and void in 5th century BC, especially Leucippus and his student Democritus. Aristotle, but Aristotle, he rejected atomic theory. He believed that elements that they any other elements, they, uh, they are com composed of fire, air, water and um, earth, these are four elements, but they are not made up of atoms, they are, uh, they are in the process of, they are continuous, actually from time immemorial they are being there, so they are not made up of, you cannot break them, they are not made up of atoms. Aristotle developed a hylomorphic worldview, he tried to explain everything in the context of hylomorphism. A hylomorphism, he believed that everything is a combination of matter and form. So that it's a 
that is a unique theory developed by Aristotle. I will discuss in other session. So let's move on. Indian atomism. In Indian history, if you see Indian, ancient Indian philosophy, you can see that uh, many great philosophers and rishis they have discussed about atomic theory. Sage Aruni in the 8th century BC, Charvak, Jain, Ajivika school, they also discussed about that. Vaisheshik school of Indian philosophy, especially the teacher Kanad, he had discussed about this atomic theory or Onu is very important and he also talked about atom and void. The Naivashishik school 6th and 1st century BC also they have discussed. So this is not a newer theory. If you see the history of this atomic theory, you can find thousand years back people also thought about that what should be the basic element and how we can uh, experiment any uh, natural object what is the basic constituent of e all, all objects so this is a very important thought so I hope you can understand and I want more and more uh, feedbacks from you thank you